Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here at RTC TV4. Thanks for watching. Today we've got someone new in the studio. We've got Corey Pugh. Corey is the manager out at Schnabeltier here in Rochester. Corey is also a member of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, and she's here today to talk about the chili cook-off, which I know you guys have been waiting for. Welcome, Corey. Thank you. So, chili cook-off, a day in October that I look forward to every year. Yes, exciting day, um, Saturday, October 13th. Yep. Um, should be a great day. Uh, lots going on that day. Absolutely. We've got to run right away, right 5K in the morning. 5K right? that morning. Yeah. Uh, the United Way puts that on. It's yep. a great fundraiser for them. We'll be there with Jenny and all the gang to uh, get some interviews with those folks, hopefully. So, got what else after that? Uh, and then the car show, large car show there. One of the biggest. Yes. Five, six hundred cars. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, so all we'll down Main Street, all around the courthouse. Right. Fun. Right. We'll have the vendors down 8th Street and mm -hmm. the chili teams down 8th Street yeah. and cars so, down Main So we were talking off camera, you've got some new vendors coming in this year. So a lot of variety and that's one of the things that I've seen added is, is uh, this has evolved over the years, is we're getting more of these vendors. They want to be a part of this great day in, in Fulton County, right? Right, yeah, we actually have to cut some of those off. That's yeah. too bad, but yeah. Too many. Yeah, We're so too popular. many vendors. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, you know, when I moved back to Rochester, uh, we came to the Chili Cook-Off that first year I moved back. I moved back in September, and so the Chili Cook-Off was right after that. And I was just in awe. I hadn't been back for this in 20 years. I hadn't seen a car show. And it was just huge. It was all the way down Main Street. It was all around cars from all over. We had people driving in from Ohio for this mm -hmm. thing. So that shocked me. So we're walking around the cars and then, oh, there's chili. What's this <laughs> chili about? And it just, I had no idea. It was a contest. You had people doing it yearly. There were teams, there were decorations. And we've covered it ever since. Um, you know, I think past seven years we've covered that and okay. really enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it takes a lot of work, doesn't it? It does, yeah. This is the 27th annual <laughs> 27 one. 27 years yeah, they've been so. doing it. So we've only been a portion of it here on RTC. Um, so the chili, the, you, you've got teams, right? Let's talk a little bit about the chili and the chili teams. Right, it's teams, um, and we're actually still accepting applications for okay, teams. Um, get a group together, church teams, uh, sports teams, like businesses, Put anybody. Put the churches up against each other. That's Competition's right. good for the soul. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, teams get together um, with a little group. They um, make a small booth mm -hmm. um, for themselves, and mm -hmm. we do. We have cash prizes, actually, nice. for the best chili and then for the best decorated booth yes. also. Yes, we've seen some so. of these decorations of late, and I'll tell you, Grace United Methodist Church does not hold back when they come to decorate. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a lot of them, uh, but that's one that stood out over the past few years for sure. So yeah, it's competition that way and then with the chili. And so um, they make their chili. You can make it any way you want. They have, they all have their own special recipes. But you have to make it there on site, You correct? have to make it there on site. You okay. can't start cooking until after the little um, chef's meeting at 8 o'clock. Okay. Um, they can't start cooking any meat. They can, I think, do a little bit of prep beforehand. Right. But, Maybe um, some chopping and whatnot. Some chopping or something, mm -hmm. but no cooking until then. And so once Excellent. that horn's blown, then they can start cooking. So, Excellent. Excellent. so they blow the horn now. You've got a cook's meeting, but a lot of this is about health safety, right? With yes. With regard to food safety. Yes. Um, so we can be assured that this is being yeah. regulated. And that, <laughs> yeah, the health inspector, she's there, yeah. Dub's there, and, okay. and if all you come to my house for one of my chili parties, <laughs> there's no health inspector. We just let her roll. But uh, no, uh, you, you will be safe. And the chili is phenomenal, and there are so many different kinds. Um, you get vegetarian chili that might be a little sweeter. You get mm -hmm. some beef chilies that are exceptionally hot. Right. And uh, then everybody votes, right? Right. And then so you can you buy tickets then, and that's that's the fundraiser part for the chamber. Excellent. Um, this is one, this is our biggest fundraiser. The really the only one that we do all year. Okay. So, um, so we buy tickets. So you buy tickets for, the, for chili. the chili, and it's a little punch card. And so then you take the punch card down down the row of the chili and you taste the ones that you want. Perfect. Um, they're a dollar, I believe a dollar a taste for okay. a small cup. Um, $10 gets you chili. 10 tastes, 10 right? 10 taste, yep, okay. that's right. So. I like it, I like it. <laughs> so we've got safe chili, we've got cars, we've got motorcycles and trucks, by the way. It's not just cars, but, um, we'll, and we'll try and get some folks from Blacktop Cruisers to come in and talk about that. But what a day here in Fulton County. I mean, right. seriously, you, mm -hmm. the, the community coalesces like no other thing in this community. And I'm just really impressed with what the Chamber has done to pull this off, what the Blacktop Cruisers have done, what the United Way has done to bring mm -hmm. in a fundraiser with the, what they're doing. 
Right. Do you get any rest this month at all? <laughs> Probably not. Chamber <laughs> Next directors month, are all, yeah. Yeah, they're all running out, aren't they? <laughs> well, uh, I know yeah. we've got uh, Jillian Kramer, the new executive director mm -hmm. of the Chamber of Commerce. She'll be coming in this week for an interview, so we'll get that up. But wanted to get all that done before they got too busy in the month of October to uh, <laughs> to come in. But. A great event here. What else do we want to tell folks about the um, I do want to give a shout out to Mike's Trash because mm -hmm. they donate the dumpsters and all the trash cans. Donate it. Donate. Mike's Trash. Yeah. Big thumbs up for All from, the trash cans uh, and, the, and the dumpsters for that. So that's a Fantastic. big help for Fantastic. that. Um, and then also the Northern Indiana Community Foundation uh -huh. just gave us a grant to purchase a new banner Excellent. to hang over Main Street. So Excellent. shout out to them too. So Shout out to Brian and, <laughs> and everybody over there, uh, Jay Albright, everybody doing great work at the Community Foundation, of course. And I think a lot of the local businesses are planning uh, maybe maybe some sidewalk sales or something too. Love be it. open. So Love it's it. great to to go and visit them yeah. that day too. Fantastic. I've been working with the folks over at the Blacktop Cruisers, and of course they do the banners. Uh -huh. And they're gearing up for the banners, and, and they've got a system by which to store these and bring them back out every year that's just fantastic. But uh, it really, the downtown looks fantastic yes. um, in the days we, leading up to that, and then also that day. Um, I always pray for good weather. Pray for good weather. Um, and it will be. It, it's been really good the past couple of years. But um, some beautiful days. And I've been up, I've been fortunate enough to get up with the camera up on some of the rooftops and take some aerial shots, even some drone shots. Very, just the, it, picturesque mm -hmm. is the way I would say it. It's, it's a really neat uh, view. It's a great time. We have some folks there for 10 hours that day or longer. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I know they start prepping for the cars 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the chili. You've got power. You've got to worry about every aspect of, of this. And so for the folks at the Chamber of Commerce, I can't thank you enough. This is a great thing we're doing here in Fulton County, bringing in the region. So. Right. Mm -hmm. We've got Corey Pugh here. Corey, thank you so much. Again, anything else? Thanks for having any us. Last tidbits? Uh, just come out and enjoy the day. There it should be a great day. Yeah. If <laughs> that's your call to action, folks. October 13th, block it out right now. That's a day you want to spend in Fulton County and downtown Rochester. So, again, for Corey Pugh, thank you. Everybody at the Chamber, everybody who volunteers to make this wonderful event happen, it's October 13th, just a couple of weeks from now. So be sure and attend the 27th, 27th. 27th Chili <laughs> Cook-Off here in Rochester. Thanks so much for watching.